Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at Lifetrack 3, now designed in SOLIDWORKS. Here's Lifetrack 3, it's part of the GVCS 50. Before we look at Lifetrack 3 in SOLIDWORKS, I'd just like to mention that I'd rather be designing this in a program like 3CAD, FreeCAD, uh, open source 3D CAD program. Here in development, there's some very attractive key features and some even more attractive features in development and once they are developed we will no doubt be moving on to using this open source program but for now here is Lifetrack 3 in SOLIDWORKS this is the full assembly 76 inches long from rear to front uh, of the frame and it has all the details down to the last nut and bolt, as we can see here. Um, the hydraulic cylinders for the front loader are in place. And from here we can see all the parts that this assembly is made out of, that I've designed over the last couple of weeks. All the individual parts as we flick through all the 4x4 tube with all the holes in. Um, a couple of assemblies put together, the QA plate some plate, more plate, uh, some rounds. Now for these individual parts we can use the 2G engineering drawings to um, create a representation uh, or to create a DXF file, shall I say, um, like for example of this plate here. If we want to create a DXF file of this with dimensions, we simply load it in, add the dimensions like so. We have all the individual dimensions here. Then save as DXF file, and then that can be converted to EMC 2G code ready for um, the open source torch table to cut these out with the automated open source torch table.